what supplements do I recommend? Now, before you go buying something off the internet, my friend, or something over the counter, what I actually recommend is going to see a qualified health practitioner. Now, this can be a naturopath, nutritionist, dietitian, Chinese medicine doctor, whatever you feel most aligned with, but you are far better off getting personalized, tailored advice that might actually, A, address the root cause of your problem or concern, B, be able to prescribe the right supplement for that. If you just decide to buy something off the internet, hoping that it alleviates the problem that you have, you might not actually be addressing what the issue is. So you could be flying blind and wasting your money on a supplement that you don't need. Two, the supplements that we would have access to actually have lower levels of potency than practitioner grade supplements. Now, this is because they need to be safe for general consumption of the wider population. So you're going to get a better return on your investment and probably supplement properly if you get advice that is specific to you and the issue or concern that you have. I personally would much rather that in my opinion, before you start supplementing, potentially with something that you've seen an influence on the internet, say worked for them, because remember, they could be getting paid for that. Go and get some personalized one-to-one advice. You're probably going to save your time and your money in the long run. Now, if I do recommend supplementing one or two things with the busy women clients that I work with, it'll either be a protein powder or potentially a magnesium powder. Now, again, this is done on a one-to-one basis because everyone that I work with on my programs, I work with them one-to-one. There's no set and forget I'm speaking to them every single day. So I'm aware of what they potentially need and whether or not they need a protein powder for convenience or if they need it to get their protein levels up. It's a very personalized thing. So it's not like everyone needs to go out and get those two things in order to achieve their health goals. Again, it comes down to what you personally need and what you're trying to achieve. So that's the biggest takeaway with any of these things is that we all have very, very different needs. And that's why it's important not to just randomly buy stuff that you see other people doing on the internet.